but also down here on this label or somewhere in your box, it'll tell you. Now most homes are 200 amps. You can see my house. You can see my house is a pretty much a regular type house, and and it is a 200 amp breaker box. Okay, now because there's no room here, I could, um, and if you look down here at the bottom, there's places down here where you can knock out holes, and you can run your your, your uh, liquid tight conduit down through one of them holes you'll need a uh, piece of hardware that goes in there and then you'll bring it down and you can run it off and you can create your own box right here and what you would do is you take out one of these uh, two pole breakers and change it to like a 60 amp breaker or something um, you don't want to overload your system but a 40 or a 60 amp you could just do a 30 amp really and run it down to, or actually you probably should do a 60 amp and then you would take one of your 30 amps out change it for a 60 and then bring out bring that down, run it through the conduit at the bottom hook your box to the wall um, and the box to the wall would have, you'd want to get two have a box that has, it's like a sub panel uh, and what you'd like to have in that box is two breakers one for the one that you just took out which in my case would be the water heater and then one for your new um, breaker for your power saver that's if you wanted to hook it all externally to the house but then that requires buying another box which is only 20 bucks or something like that for a two a two switch box uh, and you can get a lot of information by talking and that's what I did I talked a lot to the guy at Home Depot he gave me a lot of information but uh, I could have ran a second box out here but I said forget that I'll just go ahead and use the empty breaker switch the spot that I have in my breaker uh, inside my house so anyway, so in my situation, I wasn't able to hook it up out here, only just to just to test it, because I wanted to, apparently they say that you can hook it up to the main breaker box or the interior sub panel. And I thought that if I hooked it up to the interior sub panel that, that I might lose some of my benefit. But later on, as I hooked it up in there, I tested it with the amp meter and it came up just like the guy said on the video. Um, it didn't make a difference whether I was at the bottom of the breaker panel or the top or whether I was on a sub panel inside it didn't matter as long as I was, had a, a 220 breaker which is a breaker that spans across the two um, and I'll show you that when we look at the panel inside so basically all you need to know at this point is if you have room here then you can just go ahead and wire it right in here you don't have to move all these around you can put it anywhere you want in here you'll need a two uh, what they call a two pole which I think is stupid because it's not a two pole there's not two poles there's one pole connecting two switches but they call it a two pole because I guess they're calling this a pole and this a pole but basically you want a two pull 30 amp breaker and really what I guess they're trying to say is that two of them are connected by a single pole uh, but it's called a two pole 30 amp breaker now a lot of people would ask me about 30 amp why do I why am I using a 30 amp when the instructions that I posted said right there on them in plain sight 220 20 amp two pole 20 amp breaker Okay, well, on the website, when I when I bought the item from the the gal, she said it said there that this that you could use a 30 amp breaker. Uh, I took it up to I took the whole device, the whole power saver device, up to Home Depot, and Home Depot uh, said that the wiring on the device is rated for 30 amps, meaning that it, it can it can take 30 amps without overheating. So I figure better to run it on a 30 amp breaker so that if you've got a lot going on in your house uh, there's more potential for you to save money uh, so I chose to do the 30 amp if you want to stick to the guidelines on the brochure or the, the, the instructions by all means get a two pole 20 amp breaker but uh, I, I think if you read the website carefully you'll see that the girl says you can in fact use a 30 amp breaker a two pole 30 amp breaker uh, and so therefore I, I said heck yeah I'll go ahead and do that it doesn't cost much more if, if anything it probably costs the same but anyway, so that's the, hopefully that answers that question as to why I keep saying two pole 30 amp versus what the instructions say, which is two pole 20 amp. Okay, and then I'll show you these breakers here in a minute. Um, we're going to go ahead and move the camera to the next spot. 
Okay, here we are inside my house in my garage looking at the what we call the interior breaker panel. The interior breaker panel is fed power from the exterior breaker panel. You would see one of those six that I was showing you was a sub panel for the interior panel. This controls I guess my kitchen, my refrigerator, GFI range, stairway entry, uh, a bunch of the interior house stuff. Um, it doesn't it doesn't control the the range on the kitchen. It doesn't control the dryer upstairs. Uh, it doesn't control the water heater. It doesn't control the air conditioner or the heater for the furnace. But uh, pretty much everything else is here. Okay, if you look here, this is my brand new two pole 30 amp breaker. Um, I know when you watch the first video, I, I was uh, going to try. What I was going to try and do is time it, how, how long the whole thing took, but I got inter interrupted by another project. So, um, but anyways, it hasn't taken me a lot of time to do this. But anyway, so here's my two pole 30 amp breaker. It is in the on position right now, and it is working. And if we look over here, up here on my, you'll see there is my installation of my power save device power saver uh, energy saver ITC model 1200 uh, power saver is not the exact name but uh, it saves you power so I'm using it in the in the, in that tense not as a uh, an actual name for a product so no one if you have a problem please do not come after me I really don't care to mess with anybody but anyway so you can see the light is on it is working and it's been working for I'd say about a week since I started the project I didn't I wasn't able to get to it all right away plus as I did it I wanted to try and film things but it didn't work out that way so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda take this apart this breaker box here and show you which is uh, really not that hard to do um, I'm actually gonna turn off the power to the exterior breaker box for the sub panel first all right, so the power is now off. Okay, the power is now off, and you can see that my light up there has gone out. So, how do we take this off? It's really quite simple. Is uh, unscrew this. Right. Unscrew this. Unscrew this. And then unscrew this. Simply unscrew four screws and that gets the door off and gets this into the panel. Okay, now we're into the panel. And for all intents and purposes, there should be no power to any of this, but uh, I definitely am not going to go touching any of these contacts. Now, if you look real close, you can see what I mean about having contacts. Remember earlier I'd said that the contacts had stopped at that one point and there was none down here? Well, these are what I was talking about. And what a two-pole breaker does is one of them touches this and the other reaches over and touches that one which is you know on the exterior panel that's 100 amps in this panel 100 amps on this panel so uh, by attaching a two pole breaker you're you're actually making contact your power saver is attached to the entire power system of the house now in my first video you heard me talk about these 110 these 110 power save devices power saver devices that you hook up to an outlet well if that's the case then if it's one if it's hooked up to an outlet in your house then it's only going to be running on one of these bars along here um, let me zoom out a little see the power is fed in up here at the top and if you have a single pole breaker like this one see this 20 amp this is a 20 amp single pole breaker it's going to wherever but the deal is is that then if I hook if I plug that into one of them then what would happen is I'd only be affecting half of the power that's coming in the house 